What is going on guys, Adam Udo Gaming here, and today is going to be a little bit different of a challenge. So what I'm going to be doing is, I started this classic challenge a couple days ago, haven't finished it. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to lose two matches and see how far I can go with uh, only having one match to spare. So um, this is the deck I will be using for this challenge. Mm, yeah, this is the deck right here. So, I'll go ahead and lose two, and I'll get back to you as soon as I lose these two matches. So, yeah. Okay, guys. So, there we go. We lost two matches. So, we'll go ahead and hop right into this classic challenge, and I will be doing a grand as soon as this classic challenge is over. So, be prepared for that. So, we'll go ahead and hop right into this match and get started. So, knowing that we only have one win, we have to play very cautious. So, for now, I'm definitely going to save my princess in case he has a Lava Hound and just go ahead and send the Goblin Barrel. The Goblin Barrel is a really strong card because Zap can't kill it like we just saw right there. So, because he just zapped, we'll play a princess and maybe he'll play a Skeleton Army or Skeletons. Or an Inferno Dragon. So the Inferno Dragon is definitely going to take a long time to kill it. Well, maybe not that long. So we'll play Goblin Gang to counter the Inferno Dragon. And a Zap Skeleton Army to counter the Goblin Barrel. And that was a really strong defense by us. And that bowler should get really good value for him. So do, not doing too bad. I think we're, we might mine in this bowler because I don't feel like wasting my Inferno. Especially when he has an Inferno Dragon, so we know that he's definitely going to have some kind of Hog Rider or Hog Rider or Lava Hound. So we just Fireball our, our Princess, which I'm completely fine with. We'll go Goblin Barrel, Goblin Gang, cause, and then he'll have to either Zap or our Goblins just did a ton of damage. So, and then our those Spear Goblins are definitely going to do a ton of damage. So... We're definitely doing really good here, and he said well played, we'll say thanks, give him the thumbs up. So, for now, I don't know what we're going to do, he's probably going to play Goblin Barrel, Sparky. So this guy's deck's really weird, so shout out to this guy, probably doesn't watch my YouTube though. <laughs> so, just really weird deck by him, which I'm really surprised that anyone would be using a Sparky and an Inferno Dragon. Which, I'm pretty sure this is a zap bait because he's trying to get you to zap his Sparky and so you can just send your Goblin Barrel right over. So, for now, I'm just going to zap that and probably take out all his push with my Inferno. Which will definitely be good, positive for us. And go ahead and play Skeleton Army. Counter that real quick. And he zapped our Skeletons, which... And he missed a couple, which was pretty bad by him. But... I think because he just used his bowler, we'll push this lane over here because we can just fireball and zap that. And we'll go ahead and just zap there, take that out. And good by us so far. We'll play Skeleton Army, fireball because he's might, probably going to zap. There it is. Goblin Barrel. Oops, I thought that was the Goblin Gang. And he might take our tower, but nope. Okay, so we're definitely probably going to take his right now then. Nope, never mind. So. We'll just go ahead and Inferno Tower for defense. He's probably going to play a skele not Skeleton Army, Goblin Barrel. So we'll Miner this, Zap all that, get the Fireball ready for his minions. There they are. And good game by this guy. So good game, well played. So that's one win in this Classic Challenge. And, well, that's two wins, basically, because I already started it. And that's a crown for our crown chest. So... That was a good win for us. We'll go check out how many trophies this guy was at. 30. His highest is 38, 31. But he's at 35 right now. And that's actually his real deck. So that's pretty cool. So go ahead and hop into another one. And let's hope we don't lose. Or else this is going to be a short video. So we don't have a really good start, start. So we'll just go ahead and play a miner to go get that chip damage over there. And nice. So... Gonna play a furnace, which Princess is a great counter. 
and he's probably gonna play a, oh he has a log so I think what we're gonna want to do now because he played a log is the goblin gang and he's probably gonna play something uh, electro wizard so this guy is using a pretty strong deck I think it's minor poison not 100% sure on that but uh, yeah it's minor poison so we were just able to get a ton of damage but that minor did a lot with those fire spirits so that really stinks for us that those fire spirits are doing constant damage to us but we'll go ahead and just zap those skeletons don't want to deal with them and not bad he's probably gonna chip us out with his minor and poison spell but I'm perfectly fine with that and that furnace is super annoying so we're gonna play princess goblin gang over here he can log either one He's going to log that one, and Electro Wizard, nope, so those goblins are going to do a lot of damage over there, and those minions are not going to do hardly anything, so I'm not really worried. There's the Electro Wizard, so for now, I think what I'm going to do is play Miner right there, there, and Zap, so not bad. We got him to use his log, so now I'm pretty sure we're safe to play our Princess, so we'll just wait until another round of Fire Spirits come which they should ride about now play a princess and then we'll play the goblin barrel and see ho let's hope he uses another furnace or it's gonna use minions to counter so that's fine goblin should do enough damage so fireball range maybe nope okay we'll play goblin gang then so get rid of that real quick and he's got miner over there so we'll counter with our miner and have a little miner duel and our miner, of course, is going to win because our miner is a stud. So, play a princess over here. He is the P.E.K.K.A., which is the first time he's shown that all match. So, I'm very surprised that he's actually using a P.E.K.K.A. because P.E.K.K.A. is not the meta. So, maybe the goblins. Nope. So, he's probably going to play minions. And if he does, I'll fireball it. Nope. Okay, I'll just fireball that anyway. So, we'll zap. Not allow that to do any damage. Play the Goblin Gang because his poison won't be in the range anymore. And this is probably a good game. So we'll, we'll go ahead and just play a Princess to get that one extra shot. And voila. So he's going to Electro Wizard Poison, which I'm not really worried about. Because if he gets the tower, good. We got his anyway. So we could probably could have let him take that tower just to get a second one for more crowns. But we, we didn't. So... That will be all for this video. I'll keep going with this classic challenge and tell you how many wins I can get with already two losses. So, um, see you next video, guys. Peace.